Recently, I decided to give Adobe Fresco a try and I was actually quite impressed. It's a lot like Carl Painter, but it has the dependability of the Adobe name. Like no offense to Carl Painter, but uh, you crash on me like 50% of the time. So I am very pleased that Adobe came up with Fresco and it was a pleasure to experiment with. This was my first time using it. So obviously there was a lot of trial and error going on and I was just kind of experimenting with the tools. But speaking of tools, I just wanted to touch on using different tools in your digital painting. I don't mean tools like the brush or the watercolor or the pencil or the pen or whatever. That's not what I mean. I mean tools as in like your actual tool set. So Photoshop or Fresco or Painter or Clip Studio, Open Canvas even. But what I'm trying to say is that these different programs with their unique tool sets and their different engines, they're all kind of programmed differently. They're all kind of like targeted to a specific type of user. So obviously Fresco kind of aimed more towards people who want a traditional painterly look, same with Curl Painter. Uh, Photoshop is kind of like, you know, the jack of all trades, but it doesn't excel in that. Um, and then there's Clip. Clip is aimed more towards like comic artists like Mangaka and, uh, you know, your digital painters that like that smooth, sharp look. So you can't really get that to the extreme in Photoshop either. And that's why I just want to take a moment to recommend not necessarily sticking to one particular program with one limited tool set or engine. Use what you have available to you, but use it for its strengths. And that's all I wanted to say. So happy new year, you guys. I hope you had a great 2021 and we'll have an amazing 2022. See you next time. Thank you.